Boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of the Burt and Burger Podcast. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Episode 89 we are at. What a number. We are excited. Big 100 coming up just around the corner. We got your host, Burt and Burger here. And with us today, an awesome, spectacular guest. We have Mr. Daily Facts, uh, a.k.a. Matt, as he likes to be called, from iFunny on the podcast today. Matt, how you doing, man? Dude, I'm freaking doing wonderful, dude. Had a nice, nice little early day at work, dude. I'm feeling good, just chilling, watching YouTube videos. Hell awesome. yeah, man. Hopefully those videos you are watching is Burton Burger, because that's where you guys can find us over on YouTube, Spotify, everywhere in between. Burton Burger, B-U-R-T-N-B-U-R-G-E-R. Burt, you can also find us on Twitch, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've been up every... Oh, yeah. As every... always, never <laughs> fucking <laughs> fails. Every Saturday. It's a segue. It's tried and true, I tell you. Shit, shit, uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we uh, we've been playing some different games. We just got into some, some fun little puzzle couch co op games this last week, so I have to check us out. Yeah, yeah. you want to see more B and B? Hit us up on Twitch. So, anyways, daily facts, Matt. It's nice to have you on, but fuck you. Me and you are enemies. I don't know why I invited you on my show. My fact account is better. No, I'm fucking with you, dude. Uh, of course, of course it is, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. But I'm one of the OGs, bro. I've been on freaking iFunny posting facts for years, dude. Years Hell and yeah. years. It's been a long ass time. Yeah, yeah, dude. No, um, I, I, I'm, the, I'm the same way. Your account is, um, I think. Let me do the math. Eight times bigger than mine. So yeah, I definitely would give you the the credit there. Damn, um. Yeah. Yeah, but no, dude. Um, I don't know. It's just one of those things where uh, I I've been posting posting random facts on on iFunny since 2014. So I'm I'm there with you. I've been doing it for uh, a long time. Um, and I think it was it had to be two years ago, was it, Bert? Maybe last year? No, it was definitely mm-hmm. 2019, 2020. Maybe it was 2020. Some Might bitch. The account finally started taking off i mean it took me like four years to get like my first feature and everything like that mm-hmm. on on iFunny so um definitely uh has been a shitty account for a very long time it's still fucking ass to be honest i mean this is where we advertise burton burgers so mm-hmm. um one person that doesn't have a shitty iFunny account though mr matt why don't you just tell us a little bit about you your profile and, and everything else man damn so i started my account it's kind of funny. I was at my friend's house one day and we're just chilling on iFunny, just looking at memes like years ago, dude. I can I don't even mm-hmm. know how long ago, probably seven, eight years ago. We're just chilling at his house and we're just going through iFunny, looking at memes. And I remember we were like trying to make a competition of like making an account and started posting things. And we're like, mm-hmm. hey, bro, let's start posting things and let's see who gets the most subscribers. Sure. So we started doing that and I think like a month went by, two months went by and like I had like 200 something subscribers and he had like 70 or 80 or something like that. So I kind of like, okay. I beat him and it was kind of cool. But from that point, I my name was something, I forgot. It was, oh dude, that's funny. I just remembered my old name. It was called like Nocturnal Rainbow. Nice. I just think so. It was random. I don't even know where I came up with that. That was my profile name. And I used to post like one of those freaking dudes who just finds a picture on like a funny meme on Facebook or something and just downloads mm-hmm. it and posts it over iFunny. That's what I did. And sure. But then I was like, remember, for some reason, I kind of got obsessed with it. I was like, damn, dude, I got 200 subscribers. I was like, this is freaking sick. Like, I want to kind of get more. But mm-hmm. then realizing that I had no theme to my account and it was just a random BS, like, Nobody really had any reason to subscribe to me because I was just basically like reposting old stuff. I was like trying to think of a theme to come up with. And I remember a couple of times I messaged like big accounts and I would ask them. I was like, hey, dude, any tips on how to grow my account, blah, blah, blah. And every number one thing every single one of them always said is like a make a theme account, like a theme that's like everybody's going to yeah. know they can come to your channel for. And I was like, sure. okay. I was like, but I was like, what the hell am I going to freaking make it up? I was like, that was like <laughs> probably the hardest part. But mm-hmm. around the same time, I remember, I don't know why, I, I kind of got really into reading like little short facts. Like, I'm sure. not really big into reading. I'm going to be honest. I, I've only read probably one or two books in my whole life. In school, sure. I've, never, I've never read books. If it was like a book assignment, I'll just go to the book and find the answers and that's it. Sure. But... 
Sure. I it's okay. Never... Bert doesn't even know how to read. So. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounds about right. Yeah. And, well, it's all good. It's all good, man. <laughs> but yeah, dude, so basically I was not a big fan of reading like paragraphs and stuff, but it was appealing to me when he's, when I saw a post with like a picture and there was like a little fact on there and I was like, oh, that's cool. That's straight to the point, you know, like two, three sentences and you learn something cool. Obviously, you're probably never going to need it, but it's always in the back of your head there somewhere. So mm-hmm. I was like, let me make a freaking account name, change my name. I think I changed it to, it was daily facts for you. That was my okay. name. Yeah. That sure. was my first name. Daily facts for you or no, it was the more, you know, or daily facts for you. It was the more, you know, first. And then I switched to daily facts for you. And it was okay. just basically in that. And I, I would just find all these facts like everywhere. Like I would find them on Twitter, on Tumblr, on like Facebook, on Google images. I'll just be sitting there sometimes for an hour or two, just bored, just scrolling through like images and like looking at facts. And just if I found it interesting, I would save it to my phone, save it to my phone. And then I'll just post it on iFunny and then slowly started getting like a little fan base. People kept coming to my page for freaking little short facts and kind of took off from there and to sure. what it is right now sure okay. absolutely yeah quite the uh, upbringing uh story there um brought, brought it brought a tear to my eye man honestly <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh no but uh my my i think my journey is pretty pretty similar to that uh real quick man i did some research um uh-huh. You made your count um, 2,697 days ago. Um, I'm just autistic and know that. So <laughs> okay. um, it also says it right on uh, iFunny. Yeah, yeah. And uh, that happens to be May 11th, 2014. Again, I'm autistic. I did that math in my head. Uh, um, I didn't okay. just Google it. So you're on May 11th, 2014. I happen to start in uh, 2014 as well, so we're going to see who the true OG is here. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, yours was May 11th, 2014, and mine, you ready for this? Drum roll, please, everybody. Uh, yeah, mine was October 5th. Lol. Ooh. Damn it. <laughs> Ooh, got a couple of months on you. So but also, yeah. I, don't think, I don't think this was my first account. I think I had an older account that I kind of, like, lost. I don't know what yeah. happened, but... Yeah, no, I, I, I'm the same way. I had, like, an account that was, like, literally, like, my first and last name, and I tried to get uh, big and famous off of that, and then <laughs> I saw the, the like, the fun facts and stuff, and so I decided to make the account that I have now, so. Yeah. I, it sounds like me and you have been on iFunny for a very long time. We oh, just started, yeah, dude, uh, yeah, I, you do seem like one of the old school guys, too. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, no, fuck Bert, he's not, but, um. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, this has been my baby, dude, since since seventh grade uh, in, in middle school, and uh, I I have my master's degree now, so um, I've I've been with it um, every step of the way. It's been there with me. I need to get an eye funny tattoo and uh, kind of. You need to get a verified badge. Do you have a verified badge, bro? I'm trying. Fuckers won't do it for me, man. I I was honestly nervous because with the whole verification thing uh-huh. going on, um, I wasn't sure if accounts like ours could get verified because we just repost other stuff and then i came across your fucking account i'm like okay well they're just being cunts i guess so (laughs) yeah it was it took me a while to get verified i did not even like get verified because i was like freaking all cool but it was like i don't know i don't know if you remember but a couple years ago there was just this spree that they were going on they were verifying accounts left and right yep and i forgot who i hit up i hit somebody up and i was like hey bro how the hell you get verified and he sent me uh, uh, this one guy's name. His name is, uh, he's one of the mo- mods or something. Yeah. His username is like Big Brat- Bratish or something. I-, I forgot what it is. Something like that. I- I'm subscribed to him. So if you go through my subscription, you'll see him. And he was the For guy sure. who actually, I messaged him. And I was like, hey, dude, I've been on this. I've been using guys app for a long time. Um, I have this many subscribers. I was like, it would be cool to get verified. And he actually verified me. And a cool thing is, I think he was also the same person I got the username Daily Facts from. Because since, really? he's a, since he's a moderator, he actually, uh, I looked up who the <laughs> Daily Facts owner was and I told him, I was like, hey, dude, this account has been inactive for like four or five years. I was like, could I get that username? Like, I'm actually active, blah, blah, blah. And the, the same day I got my verification was the same day I got my name changed. He gave it to me. And I was like, whoa, Dang. this is crazy, dude. I got it all Damn. both on the same day. I remember I was hella excited for that. 
Yeah, that's pretty Damn. cool. Yeah, no, I'm looking at his account. It is the big ratish or however you yeah. say it. Um, he kind of has loser numbers to be honest. Two K subs and <laughs> yeah, features, he's, so. he's he's a he's a mod though. They don't freaking care about <laughs> that kind of stuff. So I'll okay. I'll. I'll uh, honestly hit him up, but he probably won't respond for a while. I remember I had to wait for his message for a while, but I don't even know if they do that anymore. I don't. I don't really follow iFunny anymore. I sure. rarely even get on there anymore, and I honestly do kind of slowly losing interest. I've I've been slacking on posting. I've been missing like almost like like a couple of days ago. I checked and I was like, when was the last time I posted? And it was like seven days. I was like, what? I've sure. never I've never went that long without posting on iFunny before. But now I'm just sure. getting older, dude. I have other things to worry about. It's like mm-hmm. I don't have time to be just sitting on iPhone. I rarely even sit on my phone, honestly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I was gonna ask if you're jumping over, pivoting to the to the old talk or anything like that. Uh, honestly, I've been thinking about posting on TikTok, but the only thing I would post about TikTok. It's kind of like more changing to like my personal kind of life stuff. And the, what I mean by that is uh, like weight loss and like getting healthy and all this stuff. Because mm-hmm. okay. I've been really on that for like last like seven, eight months. Being like exercising, losing weight, eating better, like going okay. to the... So I basically, I work out every single freaking day. Like after we finish this podcast, I'm going to the gym, come home, shower, and then go to sleep. And then same thing tomorrow. So that's Hell basically yeah. what I've been doing. And me nice. being like, I was never... I don't know what kind of stuff you guys want to talk about on this podcast, but I mean, I anything, could... baby. Okay. Yeah. Well, basically for me, most of my life, I've always been like a bigger kid, like chubby or like kind of fat, I guess you could say. And Speaking it was language. Yeah. It was never anything where like I was bullied for it. It's kind of mm-hmm. weird. I don't know why. Like I would always hear people talking about, oh, are you fat? If people get pull- bullied. Never in my life anybody has ever said anything to me about being fat. But it's kind of funny. As I'm getting older, I was like, man, why didn't nobody freaking make fun of me for being fat, dude? <laughs> like, if somebody did make fun of me for being fat, like, maybe earlier when I was younger, maybe I'll do something about it and freaking stop eating as much. But that never really happened to me. I guess I- I'm pretty chill person. I've always been, like, c- cool to everyone. Nobody's ever had any beef with me to even freaking have any, like, have them bully me or, like, kind of, like, I mean, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know what you would call it, but yeah, nobody ever pushed me really to exercise or anything. And now me, me realizing this last like couple, two, three years, I was like, you know what? I got to freaking do this myself, man. I'm freaking tired of this. So sure. yeah, if I would post on TikTok, that would be like, honestly, like tips for like people who are like out of shape and in a situation where they want to get healthier. It's hard, dude. Like, I honestly, like never realized how hard it is to get in shape and lose weight when you're mm-hmm. big. Cause mm-hmm. it's, it's, you have to fight your whole body, dude. It's one thing trying to lose weight and a whole different thing trying to lose fat. That's like whole two different things that some people don't understand. Losing fat is way harder than just normally losing weight. You can lose weight mm-hmm. by just freaking going in a sauna, sweating, and you're just going to lose a lot of water weight. But that does not make you lose fat, which is a whole freaking different thing. It's like, I'm learning a lot, basically what I'm trying to say. So I'm like, it's all new to me too. But mm-hmm. when I mentioned earlier watching YouTube videos, I was actually watching a lot of like freaking diet videos, workout videos, listening to guys talking about how they lost weight. I've been like, that's all basically all my freaking life been last couple of freaking months. So okay. what's your progress look like? Oh, uh, dude, since like my two year, like, so basically two years ago, when I first realized that I was fat, I was like, holy crap. Cause that was in my brother's wedding pictures. I was in my brother's mm-hmm. wedding and I saw my pictures and I was like, damn, I remember I looked at my face. My face was freaking round. I was like, hell no. I was like, <laughs> it's one of those moments where like you look at yourself and I was like, there's no way I freaking look like this, dude. Sure. Then I get on the scale and I'm like, I'm, I was 240 freaking pounds, dude. Mm. 240 pounds. I was like, damn, I'm freaking thick. I was the biggest <laughs> I ever was. And now I'm 200 pounds. So I basically lost oh, 40 fuck. pounds. Yeah, That's damn. pretty good. I've lost 40 pounds. I want to lose another 20, but I've gained muscle mass where I can clearly see my jaw is more like showing. My mm-hmm. arms are getting bigger. Like I can push, pull weight, push weight more easier. And like, I have a lot of like progress pictures for myself, obviously, like kind of keeping track of that. And it's freaking nice, dude. I'm, I'm really happy. I posted like a picture on my iPhone not too long ago, me in the gym, like kind of mm-hmm. sitting on a bench and like flexing my arms. 
I think honestly, I remember that. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, when I see that, when I looked at a picture, it's kind of weird. The thing about being overweight and then trying to get in shape, you have this like a uh, distorted image in your head. I feel like yeah. for the rest of mm-hmm. your life where you still feel like you're fat, dude. I'm like looking at myself and I'm like, dude, my arms look so good on the picture. But then I'm like, oh, I don't even look that good in real life, though. I only look mm-hmm. that good in the picture. You know what I mean? And it's such a mm-hmm. weird freaking thing. Uh, dude, it's that's why I'm, it's like so messed up. And I can understand how like I feel bad for people who like try to lose a lot of weight and just look at yourself. And it's just like you don't really see anything. No difference, dude. Like such a weird like a mind thing, dude. Just like insane to me, dude. That some people out there that never going to experience that. I was like, that's insane. It's like your head just yeah. messes with you, dude. No, for sure. And I think going to talk and making those kind of health videos is going, it can be pretty successful. That's mm-hmm. what a lot of, that's a lot of things a that lot. we follow on talk. Yeah. Uh, because, there's a lot on there. Yeah. And, and, and that's what we both follow is because, um, I, I, I haven't really had issues with the, the working out part, but the mm. finding like, um, good diet foods and things like that is super convenient tiktok has helped me out with that a lot so bird's never even been outside before so he can't contribute <laughs> to the conversation but yeah, yeah um there there are a lot of videos out there yeah no here's this picture of you right now looking uh looking thick uh, in, in a good way though <laughs> like in a, in a way the that one, makes me the one the my gym? bottom lip yeah yeah oh yeah. yeah no yeah that's the progress dude i have like pictures mainly for myself but that picture i was like okay i felt pretty confident and my confidence, dude, honestly, the best feeling as I'm getting older now, I'm like kind of like taking care of myself as like health wise, dude, I feel good, dude. It's one of those things I'm like, damn, I'm getting like more confidence where I can actually post pictures, dude. I can mm. post pictures of myself. I'm not like hiding behind the screen. Even like, I don't know if you know, but I do have a YouTube channel and I used to, sh- I, sh- I used to stream post videos I, I used to stream on twitch a couple a couple months ago but i honestly kind of lost a lot of interest in playing video games right now it's kind of been boring and also i've been working like 10 hour shifts at work and then coming home going to the gym and coming back it's kind of i don't really have much time to sit down and play video games but now winter is coming up and mm-hmm. since i work in construction uh we kind of like shorter days are coming basically so i'm gonna be having more free time where I'm thinking about getting back into like playing video games again, just sitting back, relaxing, because I'll actually have time to sit back and stream. So that's why I have this Elgato. I mean, I have Elgato. I have the freaking. The, that's why I even have Audacity on my computer. I have mm-hmm. the Blue Snowball mic, like all this, be all this typical stuff, you know, that every freaking YouTuber has or whatever <laughs> streamer. Yeah. Sure. So I have mm-hmm. all this stuff. That's why I have it here. But what I was saying is that I used to be so scared about having a face cam, and like a couple of years mm-hmm. ago. I got a face cam and I was like, dude, I don't freaking care, man. I'm going to chill here, play video games, bro. I don't freaking care how I look. And it's funny, dude. I'm not even kidding. You can go on my YouTube channel and go back my old, old live streams and look at the face cam, how I used to look. Bro, I looked at those videos. I was like, there's no way I look like that. I look like a freaking caveman, dude. I had freaking messy ass hair, messy ass (laughs) beard. I used to wear glasses. And now you go back. like Bert. (laughs) and now you go back and look at me how i look in the live streams now dude freaking taking care of myself dude face got squared away you know my jawline pops out trim my beard take care of my hair no more glasses i actually got a lasik surgery uh last year uh no more eyeballs yeah dude i'm freaking new man it was kind of funny because i took a long ass break from uh streaming and I came back and all my viewers were like, whoa, dude, you look so freaking different. I was like, what the hell happened to you? I was like, yeah, boys, y'all been freaking working out, taking care of myself, dude. No more glasses for me. And it was, it's, it feels good, dude. Like working on yourself and improving yourself is one of the most beneficial things I feel like any human can do in their life, dude. It's honestly like, it's freeing, dude. That um, And when I realized that, it makes me also realize why a lot of people are so depressed and stuff because... A lot of people are like hitting away, just sitting at home, eating junk food, feeling like crap. Mm. Oh, dude. And it makes me realize why a lot of people are in such a bad like state, like a mind- mindset, dude. Like a lot of people are depressed because of that. It's not good for you, dude. It's pretty, pretty, pretty freaking bad, especially here in America, dude. A lot of people are so depressed. Depressions are so high everywhere. And I was like, kind of, kind of crazy, dude. It makes me realize how, how important it is to be eating good and taking care of yourself. Mm-hmm. yeah no absolutely man and also i just i think we i 
as I go into looking at these diet foods and alternatives that you can do and things that you can switch out, ingredients that you can switch out, mm-hmm. it's so easy to be a fat fuck. It really is. <laughs> oh, you, dude. It, yes. it is, that's the hardest part is it's just like you you want this ketchup with a bunch of sugar in it. Sure, it's right here front and center and, and it's cheap, but you want this organic shit that has zero calories. It's away in the back. You got to stand up on your tippy toes, show a little at the bottom of your yes, ass dude, to reach yes. up and get it. <laughs> and then you got to fucking spend $12 for it just to eat literal ass. Like it doesn't taste good at all. So uh, exactly. I think that's a big thing is it's just it's so easy to be a fat cunt. And uh, <laughs> yes. that that's the hardest part that, that I've realized that it's 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 not easy to be to, to, to do what you're supposed to do. It is, do. dude. It is. They, they build the store specifically like that. They're all Everything is placed specifically like that so they can sell you the most garbage and, like, the most processed freaking things that in a human existence, dude. It's pretty freaking crazy. But like you said, I honestly really enjoy TikTok. I feel like it's a really good app in a case that any person, like, like can find, like, their group of people and you can kind of like adjust to like I'm, i have a lot of fitness stuff on my tiktok also on my mm-hmm. uh for you page and i'm like and i'm like so happy that that's basically the stuff that i see because i'm like dude and i'm seeing all this stuff and i'm like how much it's helping me i cannot even imagine how much it's helping other people who are seeing some the same stuff because i was like everybody's freaking improving and then when i go to my gym i see some young kids over there like freaking with their buddies just working out and they're really out of shape when you look at them and i was like hell yeah dude that's what i like to see man it makes me happy when i see more and more like younger kids or like kids like maybe all guys like even my age because i know i know a hundred percent these fools have tiktok and they probably saw some guy like transformation video and they got motivated by it to go and freaking work out or they like follow some guys for like health tips and all this stuff and i was like makes me happy seeing stuff like that honestly dude i was like hell yeah dude tiktok is doing a pretty good job with that kind of stuff in my opinion Mm -hmm. yeah it's not all bad (laughs) It's not no, and I I definitely had a very bad image of it um, at Same. the beginning, yeah. uh, but then when I found out that there are a lot of educational stuff on it, when there are more daily facts and WTF fun facts yeah. comes <laughs> over on TikTok, that's when I, I I became really interested in it, and, and TikTok is honestly uh made a big impact on our our podcast as a whole so not only does it have like good content out there for people to kind of soak up but it also is great for marketing businesses yes and, and, and things like that that's crazy yeah uh, so I've seen, I've seen a lot of people brag about it on twitter i follow a lot of like gamers and all the streamers youtubers on twitter and i remember when tiktok was blowing up a lot of people uh tweeting about it they're like oh dude i posted my freaking some warzone clip or something like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, like i posted like a clip on on tiktok or something like that and they'll like say how like got like a million views and then just like put some traffic to their twitch or twitter and i was mm-hmm. like dude that's a freaking cool idea i tried to put a couple clips up there too but i was a little too late for that and it was like mm-hmm. i was it was like whatever i'm not that crazy about growing my uh youtube channel or twitch honestly i I've always, my whole life, ever since I started gaming, always wanted to do it for fun as a hobby. And that's what I'm still doing, like, whenever I have a chance. So, I ain't trying to get no freaking ninja. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Big boost, Phil. That's okay. You got accounts like ours that are trying to be the next ninjas. So, we'll we'll, we'll, Hey, dude, you have to, bro. There's (laughs) going to be a downfall of ninja, bro. Someone's going to have to replace him. Exactly. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna find out he touched somebody or something. Something it's no somewhere in like twenty years from now, dude. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, um, going back to just like your account though, over on iFunny, your daily facts uh-huh. account. Um, where were, were these facts? Because I I just I mainly post the WTF fun facts. That's yeah. usually like that's like all I post. Sometimes I'll post other things, but that's my main thing. But it looks like yours is like um, kind of all over the place, but it's mainly the the theme of there's a picture at the top and then there's some black and white text below it. Are you making these? Because we had Eye Scared on before, and I know he said he was like making his pictures and stuff. So are you no. making these now or are you finding them? I, that I, I find them, but like a couple years ago, I remember everybody used to kind of like, roast me in the comments they're like oh dude you just steal other people's posts oh 
blah 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 like every people used to accuse me of going on their accounts and taking those posts and posting them on i was like dude you really think i have freaking time to be freaking looking through your posts and taking the ones <laughs> that i want I'm like, i don't got time <laughs> yeah. for that but i remember for like a while i tried to i tried making my own posts and i would actually mm-hmm. like google like find like interesting fact and picture then put it in the background blah blah blah. through all this bs and i was like dude it's such a waste of time dude why am mm-hmm. i trying to why am i trying to freaking favor all these little kids who are like hating in my comments dude i was like dude i'll just keep like downloading saving the pictures on my phone that i freaking like the facts that i like and then repost it so I've always re- I've been reposting them. Basically, I, I I don't claim to own any of them. The only yeah. thing I do is I kind of uh, crop out the the watermarks, the huge watermarks that they have, because I genuinely don't like how that looks. I think it looks kind of ugly. It looks mm-hmm. so out yeah. of place, like the huge freaking watermarks that some of the posts have. A lot of my posts at the bottom, I crop them out because I, I I personally think it looks nicer and cleaner. Like I don't I don't do it to like freaking hide it and claim it as mine. I literally mm. just doing it for like the visual, visual Aesthetics, like yeah, yeah exactly because it looks yeah. nicer like that in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's tricky too with these kinds of things because I always want to give credit to where these things are coming from. So, yeah. but also people are so against you spreading their stuff because they want all the attention. But then again, you you can make watermarks a little bit better than. Yo, this is mine. Fuck off. Don't look at my shit. It's like, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. All over it. It's like, yeah. 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 So it's like I'm trying I'm trying to help you out. It's just like the 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 facts that I post, the WTF ones, it's it's nice. It's it's like at the bottom or it's at the top. You know when it's a when it's one of those facts, that's it. And then people can just enjoy the fact and then and then move on from it. But then I, I definitely see the other parts. It's like I just want to post the, the facts here, man. But uh, I don't know. I, I, I can kind of see it from both sides where it's like I, I want a better looking picture and everything, but also you want to give credit to where when it's due. Um, that's true, as but well. How I how I kind of looked at it, I, I kind of looked at it where I was like thinking if I was even making like a dollar a month from these posts, if I was making any kind of money, I would leave all the watermarks, everything in there and I would not sure. crop anything out. Right. I'm, I don't make any money. I don't think anybody makes any money other than freaking iFunny on this on that platform yeah. so it's like if I was ever making any kind of money, then I would feel like I'm stealing from these people. But other than that, I'm not really, I don't think I'm harming anybody because I yeah. did have some freaking guy, some uh, facts account that I think, I, I don't know if he was legit, but he, ma- he messaged me and he was like, dude, this is my website. You're taking these pictures on my website. I'm going to sue you, blah, blah, blah. He was trying to like scare me. I was like, dude, what are you freaking talking about, dude? I'm not stealing anything from you. I'm not making nothing from this, but I'm just reposting all this stuff. And I remember, I, I forgot what happened exactly. That was a long time ago, but that, it, this story just popped in my head. But yeah, he was trying to threaten me that he was going to sue me because I'm stealing his pictures and posting on iFunny. I'm like, bro, chill off. Cool off, bro. Because <laughs> he his account was like the actual name of the website I was taking the pictures from. So mm-hmm. I thought maybe that's why he was legit. So still to this day, I'm not sure if he was legit or not because he did have a couple thousand subscribers and he did have those posts on his channel. So I wasn't really sure if that what it was, but obviously I never got sued. I'm still here. Nothing freaking happened. So it's like, you know, it's, I don't know. He was probably just trying to scare me off because you cannot really sue somebody off of that. Like I said, like I'm not really benefiting from it. Any, oh, yeah. Especially like if any, there's no money involved. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. There's nothing really. I don't get anything in return. The only thing I get in return is couple freaking likes per post and maybe it fills my ego a little bit <laughs> i'm just <laughs> not not much to feel you know what i mean but it's like yeah. it doesn't really do anything to me i legit do it for fun and because there's genuinely a lot of people who like to get on my page and just scroll through my facts and just like read stuff and i had people say that so many freaking times on my pages like hey i appreciate you still posting like you're the only reason I even get on this app anymore just to read some quick facts. It's like they always say how they sometimes mention this stuff to their family members or friends and they like sharing these little short stories or whatever. And I was like, hell yeah, dude. Those are the people I want to do this for, you know? Mm-hmm. Why not? Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. So your account specifically is is a very big account. I, I definitely don't want to undersell this you you're coming up on eighty thousand subscribers here um oh. on, on on ifunny you have over 28 million likes and uh 
coming up on 300 fucking features. So yeah, no, I... uh, that that is just that's just amazing. That's awesome. I'm going through some of your facts here, and I'm thinking, yeah, we we definitely have gotten the same facts featured, by the way. So I think you're stealing shit from me. <laughs> yeah, well, Sorry, uh, dude. Sorry, man. <laughs> uh, no, uh, we're both taking them from the same website. But yeah, um. Uh, my my question for you though is, uh, when did this kind of start taking off for you? Because you've had it since twenty fourteen. Was it kind of a slow thing too? Like three years later, yes, bam, it took off. Yes. Or? it was freaking slow as hell. And the, the day is when it started taking off is when I got my first feature, and I still remember to this day when I got my first feature. I was in mm-hmm. cl- I was in school. It was lunchtime. And I was going to the, uh, I got my lunch and I was going to my table. And I remember as I was walking, I was just checking on my phone and I was like, whoa, I got a feature, dude. Because I was doing iFunny probably for like three years, like two, three years at that point. And my my friends knew I was doing it because everybody back then was had iFunny. iFunny was pretty popular back mm-hmm. then. And if you were in school, like everybody had it like for memes and all that BS. And my fr- I told my friend, I was like, hey, bro, I got a feature. And he's like, what? And he, like, turns around. He tells his other group of friends, like, he's like, dude, Mate finally, he, Mate finally got featured on freaking iFunny. And I was, like, so happy. I was just sitting there and, like, all quiet on my table. I was, like, smiling, looking at my phone. And I remember, like, back then, I don't know if you got featured back then, but when you would get featured, the way the profiles were set up and everything, the feature system, the you would get a lot of subscribers from getting featured, dude. Yeah. Nowadays, hmm. you get, like, no subscribers from getting featured. So mm-hmm. I remember I got featured, and I got, like, a 1,000-plus subscribers from that feature. And I was like, whoa, what? It's like, my channel just grew so quick. And I was, like, so excited because then I was getting consistent subscribers, keep kept going and going. And then another feature came by not too, it was not, it wasn't even that far away. It came pretty freaking quick. And I got that one and I got another like a thousand, like 1500 f- subscribers. And I was like, that's how freaking all these big accounts grow. They just get featured and it just freaking oh, okay. like subscribers just come like crazy. Cause mm-hmm. like how I, I really miss the old layout or like freaking iFunny. Now they feature like a Absolutely. million freaking posts a day yeah, and it's yeah. just like so stupid. I have mm-hmm. so many features. I have so many features now that I have like freaking two thousand likes. I was like, "What kind of freaking feature is that, dude?" Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't know cool if it's a glitch anymore. in the system, but I get some that like have less than a hundred likes and shit like that. It's yes, it's it, so it's, stupid, it's super dude. Super odd. Yeah. What? Which one was your first feature? Was it? Do you remember it? What your first feature uh, was? It was. Uh, I remember how it looked. It was like a. Damn, what was it? I'm trying to scroll down. Oh, it was the freaking the the NASA one. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that was the one, dude. I I knew it was something with the cause I remember the how the <laughs> post looked, but I forgot what the fact mm-hmm. was about. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the you know. uh, the the fact is NASA will pay you fifteen grand to lay in a bed for ninety days, measuring the effects yeah. of zero gravity <laughs> on your well, body. Uh, yeah, the cool thing is is the next one over the thanks to his internet popularity the success kid the little baby that's like like using yeah, his yeah. fist where he's holding sand in his hand a little meme oh, yeah. made enough money to fund his dad's kidney transplant and i like that i like that back when you posted that back in 2015 dude oh, so damn. yeah no that's uh that's pretty dope so and you made at- this Look at the likes they used to have. The features are like 200,000, dude. Like, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shit. going through, like, all of these things are literally 100 plus thousand views. I have one post over 100, and it just happened recently. So, oh, here's one right here um, for 562 view uh, likes. So, I guess I funny was kind of always gay. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was, dude. I, it, they have a lot of issues. I don't know what's going on nowadays, especially, but even back then, they used to have a lot of freaking issues going on all the time, dude. It was, yeah. It was it was kind of annoying, but like I said, I was not really doing this for, like, getting a lot of subscribers or likes. I never really cared. I always just posted stuff for fun, and mm-hmm. if I got featured, I got featured. I remember people would accuse me, they're like, oh, how are you getting featured? Because there was times where I would get featured twice in, like, the same set. You know, remember how they used yep. to do sets? Like, oh, yeah. 20 mm-hmm. sets, 20 sets. I, I used to get twice in the same set, and people were like, oh, bro, this guy's just freaking paying freaking the moderators to get, like, features. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, bro? You think I'm going to spend money <laughs> on this freaking thing, dude? Yeah. 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 
That's kind of that's kind of like what happened with mine too. It's just I made the account in 2014. I didn't get featured until 2018. A whole year later, I got my second feature, and then when 2020 came, before uh, COVID hit and everything like that. They were just happening left and right and two, yeah. sometimes three in one goddamn yep. day, and it was just, uh, you, I couldn't, I couldn't stop. Uh, I was sending Burton like, "Yo, we got featured again, we got featured again," <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just with with everything there. And I think it also helps when you do have these themed accounts here because I'm a person that checks out people's profiles all the time. So if I see them post something that, because themed accounts used to be pretty big back in the iFunny day um where they were themed accounts all the time so i would go click it like if it was a cool shooting video where they're shooting guns you could click on their profile and more yeah, than yeah most exactly. of their videos were of them shooting nowadays it's just a bunch of people shit posting left and right so it's kind of oh, yeah. kind of difficult for how easy it is to get featured at, at this point so uh, i miss i miss those days now that now that you mentioned it i remember like there used to be theme accounts and there were so many cool like themes People are really creative. I don't know if you remember, but there was that one account long ass time ago. It was called like Witchcraft Gifts or something. Mm -hmm. Do you remember those guys? Like it would be like a GIF and it would like pause. And then you have to like kind of like scroll halfway to the left or right. And it would yeah. kind of continue the GIF playing. And it would mm -hmm. kind of like play like a little story. I was like, whoa, this looks so freaking sick. Like they used to do that. But then like some new update came out and it stopped working. And that account just died basically. And... Like also, there was another cool account. Uh, men will be men. Do you remember that page? I think so. Yeah, it was men will be men, and they used to always post like some funny ass freaking like yeah. men, like some yep. guys like doing some funny stuff and yeah, like yeah, avoiding yeah. their wife or something or some freaking funny ass mm -hmm. stuff, dude. I remember those guys because I actually began pretty cool with those guys. We used to talk sometimes. They're pretty cool dudes. Yeah, oh. I'm, I just found that page. Men will be men. Last time, it says they haven't been on since 2019. Yeah, last time they wow. posted. Okay. It's crazy, dude. Yeah, mm. there was such a funny account, dude. They also used to get featured a lot. They were a pretty big freaking account back then. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, no, and, and I, I've definitely been in those shoes before, too, to where it's just like I'm kind of tired of posting these things, especially when you're not getting, like, I, I know you're not necessarily doing it for the popularity or anything, but when you're just constantly posting things that aren't getting shit, it's like, <laughs> is, is this even fucking worth it at this point anymore to where yeah. uh, it, it gets annoying like that, but... um definitely understand it now the big thing that really what, what happened with me is is before we created this podcast burton burger i had some other like stupid little fucking uh youtube channel you know we, when we were all in middle school or high school we all wanted to be big youtubers someday or, or yeah, something yeah. like that so, <laughs> oh i have that one too wow. yeah yeah it's just a real cringy account nothing ever happened to it but the whole reason why i made this fax account is to advertise that stupid cringe account and it started getting to the point to people really liked the actual i funny account so i kind of dis ditched the old uh youtube account and started uh just posting hard on on the stacks account and then when we made burton burger that's when we started kind of posting our our stuff over there and that definitely helped get the the podcast off the ground a little bit so um and now I, I would say a couple times a month now we have like actual fans of the podcast reaching out and saying some nice things and cool things we've we've met some pretty cool people along the way with it too so mm -hmm. um it's it's a dead app is all i hear about people like you still use iFunny? what the fuck i use that like in middle school but <laughs> exactly, it's still popular yeah. as hell man and i mean look at these features that are getting hundreds of thousands of views uh oh, yeah maybe Somebody's not likes there. but yeah, it's still a pretty pretty big app. Yeah, that's that. true. They do, but it's like the likes. The likes is what throws me off. Like they don't yeah, get that much. Like, I guess people just don't like things anymore. They just look at it, read it, and just keep going. Yeah, kind of weird. Yeah, bird's part of the problem with that for sure. So, no. um, definitely doesn't give uh, the creators the attention they deserve. So, right. you, you, I ain't gonna lie. I'm the give, same way. You don't get the creators uh, that reposted other people's original content the respect that we deserve. For, so. Yes, yes, yes. No, I Shit. like how they added in the, uh, what's that, the frowny face or whatever. So you can call somebody's meme shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Did, oh, the dislikes? Oh, yeah, that's The dislikes, funny. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a nice touch. Yeah, no, it's just like if you triple, t if you triple 
like tap. Yeah. It'll it'll show the frowny face. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know if I knew that or not, and I'm just like sitting there and I went to like it and then it just frowned at me. It's like, wow, you actually like this meme, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a test. It's a shitty joke. What the hell are Yeah, you wow, what a fucking loser. So Yeah. Uh no, iFunny has definitely gone through I remember when it was, used to be just pictures, dude, where there was no vids there's no uh, yeah, uh or gifs or anything like that yeah uh there it was literally just uh pictures and uh, uh i i do miss the old school i funny quite a bit but i am very glad that they <laughs> have at least updated to that point to where we're kind of getting uh the uh, the highest tech out there when it comes to the memes yeah i find is definitely known as like a underground meme meme app now it's like i always hear people still like bring it up as a joke somewhere here and there like or like on twitter there'll be like some post like blows up and it'll be like a i funny watermark on it and people will just be <laughs> roasting it because in the end people still know it, you know it, you know it's just oh, yeah. that one little thing like that it's a joke it's like who freaking takes memes from i funny not anymore dude like for me now if i want to see some funny stuff i usually see it on twitter i think that's the best place to see funny stuff at and tiktok now i guess but Twitter is mainly when I get my funny stuff from, but I find it, I don't got time because I know how like crazy it is. Like with like, like I said, there's hundreds of posts that get featured now and I don't even think that's cool anymore. I like the idea how it was like a specific number. It was like 60 a day. I think it used to be. Yeah. And I really, I really liked that. I thought it was really cool that that's how it was. It actually was a, like a, I don't know how I would say this. It was like, oh, you got featured, dude. And yeah, like, that was like kind of looked up almost. on it. Yeah, it was like ex- exactly exclusive. And because yeah. out of 60 posts that were posted that day, yours got freaking featured, and it was pretty cool. Now it's mm-hmm. like all over the freaking place, and like nobody really cares anymore. And you also see accounts that have like 16 followers and four features, and people are like, wow, this got featured. And they're like, I think. It, yeah, it, exactly. I've seen says, those a lot. I never yeah. got that. Yeah, I never got a notification for it. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I find it's definitely not the same. I do miss miss how fun it used to I used to get on that thing every single I wake up in the morning, I hop on, scroll through mm-hmm. some stuff, scroll through my subscription, dude. I used to love going through my subscription. Now, I don't even freaking know what the hell happened with the subscription. Dude. <laughs> it's all mm-hmm. over the freaking place now, dude. I've been seeing posts from like freaking weeks ago. I was like, what the hell is this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also you're getting things that like they reposted too. So you're yeah. like, oh, but it yeah, doesn't even do that. show that this specific person reposted. So you're sitting there and all of a sudden you're seeing a bunch of like um, furries and shit like that. Posing <laughs> all. Dude, like, why do people love that stuff when I funny, dude? People love that stuff when I funny. It's I don't so know, why threw do they me hurt? off, man. <laughs> funny is like, just not porn now. Oh, it used <laughs> to be like worse. Those... Remember how much worse it yeah. used to be back then? Yeah. Like years ago? Oh, it was straight up like freaking hardcore up. porn. Oh, yeah. yeah. They got freaking removed from App Store, I remember. It was freaking insane. <laughs> yeah. They had yeah. to fix their porn problem. I just remember when I was maybe, I don't know, six. No, I wasn't that young. But I was <laughs> no. like in seventh grade where it was literally this woman and it said, like below it, it said, Mom, close your fucking legs. And she was sitting there with her legs spread open, and you literally could stick your entire head in her pussy. It was so gaping. Holy, like, you could dude. literally climb in the fucking thing. That was an eye funny. And I'm yeah. and, and now Bert's over here complaining because they're like, yo, new features, and it just shows a little booby. And, oh, yeah. uh, yeah. Dude, I funny. The- I, I funny has always been like that. That's the funny thing. They love to like post like little like a nip slip here and there, like this mm. and that. I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple years ago, they accidentally featured like a freaking this dude with his dick out. I don't know if you guys remember. <laughs> That's great. Accidentally featured because it was like a it was hitting pretty good. It's like it was like a darker picture, and this guy was holding like a controller, but on the bottom right corner, <laughs> you just see his freaking dick just sticking out. And it was like a meme, but somehow everybody, I guess the feature team did not freaking see it. And I remember c- that really good because I remember that was the first time I've ever seen a feature that get on feature. 
Yeah. And a feature because they I've never, never seen a dick. you cannot, you cannot even, <laughs> yeah, of course. But that's like the first, you know, usually like a feature, you cannot delete it. Like even if you go and try to yeah. delete your features, it doesn't let you. Yeah. Or you cannot unfeature a feature. But that was the first one I remember that was actually like unfeatured. That was like, that's crazy. That was so funny though, dude. I was that's like, so how funny. did they not see that, man? <laughs> was it a, was it a nice cock at least? Or? I don't freaking remember. It was just a head, I think. I think Probably it was a tip. It was a, it was a tip. <laughs> And just teasing. Yeah. Yeah, a little little tease there. Yeah, um uh, I think I do remember that. And they've also done stuff too where like a little booby will be showing or something and people will be like, Nice, they're featuring porn again or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. exactly. Every time there's a female, every time there's a female featured in like a bikini or something, that's it. Everybody goes crazy in the comments. Yeah, it's like, what is this? So funny. What is this freaking porn website already, huh? What is this porn home? Did I open the wrong app? Like, holy crap, chill, dude. That's freaking a woman. Dude, in the bikini, bro. that is one thing I see all the time is every time there's some kind of porn related picture or video there's so many people telling everyone to stop watching porn on i funny it turns into this like whole like fucking porn the crusade yeah yeah thing. I know what it's, about. it is kind of funny it's like what the fuck like they're all like being racist and sexist and saying all these mean and awful things you should kill yourself and all this shit but as soon as you're, you post porn they're like hey now that that's serious shit guys you need to <laughs> i stop guarantee you those are this I guarantee you, those same people who freaking go over there to tell you all this crazy stuff are the same ones that finished beating their meat like just 20 minutes ago. <laughs> and they just feel bad. And now right. they're trying to tell people not to take the same path so they don't feel as bad as them. It's like, dude, just chill, bro. It's freaking normal, dude. Just don't yeah. freaking do it like a, don't do it a hundred times a day. As long as you don't freaking do that, you're freaking, you're good. Golden brown. Bert. Bert's just laughing. He's like, yeah, what's wrong with 100 times a day, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah just go to <laughs> the limit, the limit, stop. Yeah. <laughs> the limit is like 43 or 42. I don't know. <laughs> Before I remember, you die, right? Yeah. Remember <laughs> that freaking thing? That guy died. Some kid died of freaking heart attack or something. There was like yeah. a news article. It was like he beat his me like 40-something times. And people were like, oh. Just do it one less, one less, and you'll <laughs> yeah. be good, guys. We know yeah. the limit now. <laughs> <laughs> we found the magic He number. took one for the team. Yeah. 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 No, I, I just, I always find that funny, though. It's just, I funny will go and just be some of the harshest people on the planet. Yes. Dark as, as, humor, dude. Dark yeah. humor. Yeah. But when you talk about porn, I mean, it's not just like one or two comments where they're telling you that you have a porn addiction and you need to stop. But it's like the whole entire thing. So I think there's just a bunch of porn, former porn addicts on fucking iFunny where they like to see babies die. But as soon as you show a little booby, they're like, hey, now that's fucked. Not on this. Yeah, what a, another, and speaking of the complete opposite, they have been posting or f- featuring nothing but Christian memes on iFunny. Like, yeah, it's not really? even like silly things anymore. I it's saw- literally like Bible verses and shit like that. Huh. I, I mean, saw a bunch of weed the other day. Well, <laughs> There's like three I, a day. Like, like what a, the fuck? Yeah, I haven't seen. I haven't went to the features in a long time, so I'm not sure. I mean, don't get me wrong, bro. I'm freaking. I'm Christian myself. I'm a Christian man. I grew up Christian, but I was like, I don't. I've never really seen like a big thing where like forcing it down people's throat. You know what I mean? Like stuff yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. I've never yeah. really been a big fan of that myself, but uh, yeah, oh, I. Funny. It, I not it's just weird yeah i've seen it all over the place and it's literally people just post this like black kid scratching the back of his head saying damn i'm getting kind of tired of all these uh features on i christian or something like that <laughs> it's just it's so weird yeah they've like, been going on this big uh reformation i guess and it's it's not even like cute little christian jokes it'll be like straight up bible verses and stuff like that and I'm like, yo, this is cool and all, but that's interesting. I wonder what's going on with that. Some freaking <laughs> some new some new moderators over here popped yeah. up. They hired some new guys or something. Yeah, Definitely they're mixing the form. yeah the state and the church again. I guess we're having issues with that. I don't really fucking who knows, know. Yeah, but well, man, who knows what goes up behind the iPhone, dude? Honestly, iPhone is one of those apps that you just have no idea what goes on in the back in behind the scenes. Like I've seen people through the years try to reach out, trying to figure stuff out. You never hear anything from them dude it's like they're so freaking secret and private about everything it's pretty pretty crazy i, I wish they were more open about stuff honestly i feel like that if they were more open to the to their community and stuff i i really think it would have helped their app to be more popular and maybe even bigger if they were mm-hmm. more open about stuff and 
like kind of part of the community you know not just be like isolated somewhere just freaking hiding and just updating it like once in a while and that's it Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That's no. Funny. People always say the moderator teams like a bunch of fucking monkeys and shit like that on typewriters. Oh, yep. And... I remember those days. Yeah. <laughs> the David David Chef Chef or whatever. His name yeah. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, for sure. It's it's gone through quite the phase. So, we we always tell ourselves, Bert and I, um, we're 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 it's like okay, iFunny is a great app and stuff, but it's pretty niche. So you know, there there's definitely a particular audience for that so we got to stop with these i funny guests and then we uh come across a really cool fucking person and ask them if they want to come on and they're like yo let's do it and i'm like wow okay here we go so yeah, it's uh, a good way to reach reach out to people man honestly it's a pretty like think about it it's like you have a guy who has an instagram account he has like a million freaking followers over there but the same mm-hmm. guy can have like ten thousand followers or some other social media or some app, yeah. And it's easier to kind of get in contact with them through that app. You know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. kind of like, mm-hmm. kind of like that. Like I'm not saying I'm like freaking huge or whatever. I get messages all the time because I block my messages. I think where like I cannot get messages randomly or something like that. Because I remember I used to get spammed when the whole chat thing first got added, and yeah. it was so annoying. I had to shut it off for a while. I still get a whole bunch of freaking invites to random group chats and all that Same. BS, but yeah. But when you reached out to me, I was like, oh, there you go. I actually a legit account, a legit person just actually messaged me, asked me for something. I was like, I'll freaking respond. And I saw you. I was like, oh, yeah, it's like, we post similar stuff. I was like, why not, dude? And a mm-hmm. podcast? Like, I was like, heck yes, dude. I freaking love listening to podcasts. I was like, might as well, dude yeah mm-hmm. no we, we we've we've had eye scare on and we've had info checker on so you're the you're the third person info checker damn yeah. that's funny I, i've never really like i he i feel like he came up he got really big like around the time i stopped really caring about i funny sure. and i just remember seeing a lot of people tagging him in my comments all the time and stuff like that <laughs> but i've mm-hmm. never really like kind of followed this page to kind of see how he is or who he is but yeah no cool, you, you probably seen him a lot being a fact account yourself I, oh, it happens yes. with me a lot. Yeah. I'm like, fuck off. I don't care. These aren't my facts. They're like, yo, you're posting bullshit. I'm like, eat a exactly. dick. <laughs> Bro, I'll those are the funniest it. ones, yes. Yeah. I like it when I post to my own thing saying doubt. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll post a fact and be like, yeah, I don't think this is true, boys, but here it is. <laughs> That's pretty funny, dude. I remember those. I used, to, I used to actually get irritated. I was like, do people really think I'm over here making these freaking things up, dude? Like... I just saw this thing, thought it was cool, and I just posted it. Like, nope, freaking dude it on his keyboard. He's like, oh, actually, I Googled it, and it's freaking wrong. I was like, okay, good for you, dude. Yeah, and, and their name's Info Checker, and they have 40,000 followers on fucking iFunny, and it's annoying. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, the whole freaking mob squad comes after you, dude. Cancel your ass. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, Info Checker was was really really cool, really good guy to have on. So that's uh, nice. I might actually I might actually check out that podcast. I'm kind of curious to listen to what he's got to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. Uh, the uh, biggest surprise with him was his uh, deep and sexy voice that he had. That uh, we were not <laughs> expecting that. Was literally, I thought he like ate head lice off of kids or something for <laughs> how funny. he operated on. He's probably but... a smart guy, huh? He probably is actually a smart guy. <laughs> yeah, no, he's just he's 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 a big film guy and everything like that. So he he's he's got a big personality, a big voice, and and everything like that. So uh, definitely check out uh, our boy Info Checker there. So. Um, but just kind of speaking about the podcast, uh, kind of brings us to our, uh, our next segment here, uh, Matt, uh, that we like to do with guests. So the, this section of the podcast, it's called booby time. Speaking of porn, um, mm-hmm. where we just kind of sit around and we talk about our favorite porn stars and, uh, the nicest tits and everything like that. So Bert, uh, which male porn star do you have this week for us? Um, <laughs> uh, there's too I don't know many, where to begin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, so booby time rhymes with movie time. Ooh. So now Matt knows where this is going. Yeah. So uh, I love movies. Yeah, dude. So this is the part of the show where we have guests come on and we say, "Yo, what's the most fucked up, most weirdest movie that uh, you guys have seen? Uh, tell us about it." And then Bert and I. We'll have a little date. We'll have some popcorn and uh, sit next to each other and and, and watch this uh, tragedy of a show. You guys uh, actually know each other in real life. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're. Uh, that's pretty sick, dude. Yeah, we're we're actually cousins. So. Oh hell, yeah. dude, that's actually <laughs> hella dope, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I know. What uh, are the odds yeah, of that? Yeah, I just asked dope. some guy to be on my show, and he's like, yo, I'm your cousin. Yo. That's Holy pretty shit. dope, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, Bringing we... the family element to the podcast world. Yeah. Hell yeah, That's dude. pretty cool. I, lo- I love that kind of stuff, dude. That's freaking respect. I have a lot of cousins. I have really good relationship with them. Like my, they're like basically my homies, you know? Mm-hmm. I have... I'm freaking okay. I'm originally from like my family's from Russia and everything. So oh, we have... called it. Eat a dick. I fucking called it. You piece of shit. You yeah. told Big me it family. wasn't. I told it. <laughs> Big Sorry. family, dude. Big family. So Go I have ahead. a lot of cousins, but not all of their cousins are like my homies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like it's one thing for them to be your cousin, cousin, but then when you actually hang out with them, you share things with them, then you kind of become homies. So it's kind of a different thing, in my opinion, but. Mm-hmm. Dude, I would have loved to if I ever had an opportunity to do anything like this with my cousins, bro. I would have loved to do something like this. That yeah. Would be legit. yeah, it's been pretty fun. It, yeah, it sounds like you're pretty close to your uh, cousins, just like Bert's cousins are pretty close to one another. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, I found that out last week. But yeah, no. Um, <laughs> it's uh, I, I literally just saw Bert two days ago or something like that. So, two, oh, yeah. Two, That's yeah. cool. Yeah, no. So we'll uh, we'll we'll watch your uh, movie together here, and uh, we'll talk about it in the next episode. So um, you'll the have thing to about it, that. the thing about it, my movie is not like a messed up movie. It's just like a movie. It's like a sci-fi movie, and I'm I wa- like okay. When you ask me that, that I have to come up with like a bad movie that I've seen. Mm-hmm. The thing that was hard for me is I was like I love watching movies. I'm a big into movies. I love watching shows. I love watching like breakdowns of them on youtube and all this bs like behind the scenes stuff i'm really Same. obsessed with that kind of stuff but if i'm watching a movie and i could i could tell like if it's gonna be a bad movie in the beginning i stop i never waste my time sitting and watching a bad movie mm-hmm. but for some reason this movie on netflix called the titan i don't know if you've seen it the okay. titan yes nope i haven't so. even heard of it I don't think, yeah, it, it's a 2018 movie, and I don't know why in the world I freaking watched this thing. I was at home one day, and I just turned it on. It was a new movie that just got added on Netflix, and I was like, let me just freaking watch it. And as I'm watching it, I'm like almost mind blow how stupid the whole <laughs> plot is, how bad the CGI is. And the craziest part, it's a freaking, the actor that's playing in there is uh, Sam Worthington. That's yep. the freaking dude from Avatar, dude. Yeah, I'm looking Pretty at it right freak- now. Yeah pretty freaking big actor he's like a good actor and i'm like what is he freaking doing in this movie and dude i'm not even kidding i'm watching it i'm like torturing myself i was like this is horrible dude where's this movie even going and then the ending it just blows my mind how stupid it was the cgi was so bad i'm not even kidding once you guys watch this movie and you see the ending you're gonna feel so cringy dude i I don't i i I think it will give you goosebumps how cringy the ending is gonna be and the only reason i even kept watching the movies because the freaking the chick uh natalie emmanuel was in there and she's freaking Uh beautiful the chick from game of thrones (laughs) with the curly hair honestly Mm -hmm. dude she's freaking pretty and she was in fast and furious too but i was only watching it because of her because she was in there a little bit i was like whatever but then obviously i'm kind of watching the movie too and i'm like Dude, it was such a bad movie, dude. CGI is basically like the Earth is like running out of resources. They're trying to go to freaking a different planet and they're testing every human. They're putting all these drugs into them to see how their body reacts to this drug so they can their body can mutate into this different human form. And it, it's such a stupid freaking, I don't know, dude. It's just almost mind-blowing that I didn't even watch the whole movie because usually I would just stop. But that's the only one, honestly, I could think of. No, when you, that's, so it's, that's, the mind blowing part is you're actually giving us a fucking movie that's on Netflix. I'm not going to even tell you the shit we have to go through to watch some of these other movies. Oh, I bet, <laughs> so dude. Annoying. Yeah, if you, yeah, if people recommend some horrible movies, you got to go through some freaking dark web websites. Over yeah. There. Oh, oh, yeah. Seriously. Yeah. No, we've we've had to watch pornography <laughs> before. And um, yeah. as a movie, Kinda. as a as a little teaser. Yeah. To the. Oh, to, OK. Yeah. Well, and... I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there's no porn in this one. Well, uh, thank you. I I, I appreciate that. It's maybe kind of weird maybe there's a little bit, cousins. little bit kissing. Maybe there's a little bit of skin touching. Ooh. Maybe, but I don't know. That's, I don't well, remember. that'll get That's Bert going. Up. I know, yeah. but <laughs> might um, be too far. No. I would yeah. actually like. So where where would I hear it from you guys? Like after on the next podcast, you guys will probably talk about it. Like or what? How do you, oh, how yeah. do I find out? I want to see your guys' freaking opinion on this movie. <laughs> kind of really curious. I don't yeah. want to be like I'm. I, I, hopefully, I'm not the only person that thinks that movie was freaking corny as hell, and it was freaking <laughs> bad. Well, 
I mean, yeah. So first of all, I mean, don't worry about giving us this movie because we we've seen some shit in our in our past movies here. So yeah. you're you're okay. okay with that. Uh, it's on Netflix, so it can't be too bad. <laughs> uh, second of all, uh, yeah. No, we'll we'll talk about it in the next episode. So we're on episode eighty nine right now, and next week. Um, we'll talk about our opinions on that's the pretty movie. cool that you guys actually watch it, dude. That's pretty that's that's respectable right there. You know, it's not like some just empty, empty conversation thing that you guys just bring up that you guys actually check them out and kinda like Oh yeah, we do deep see what dive. that is. <laughs> you gotta investigate, you gotta investigate. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And and we appreciate that too. But the the thing is is like we're, we're genuinely curious about how fucking bad a movie can get, uh, with everything. And <laughs> yeah, uh, thankfully just, I've never seen really bad movies like, like Yeah, I lucky you. So um <laughs> I, I you know, you talk about like getting goosebumps and cringe. I mean, I, 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 I co host a, a podcast with Bert, so I it can't oh, yeah. get too much fucking worse worse than that. <laughs> full on full on goosebumps the whole couple uh, the first hour, huh? Oh yeah. oh yeah, 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 and then it turns into a raging hard on. So my body does all sorts of weird things when I when I spend time with Damn, her, so. blood pressure <laughs> freaking going all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> yes. no, it, it, it's it's crazy. So, but we'll we'll definitely check it out and uh, let everybody know what our what our thoughts are on this show for uh, for next week. So yeah. the Titan um, is is what we will check out. So the the funny thing is. Uh, Matt, how booby time started is we were trying to give ourselves more content uh, oh. for the podcast. So Bert and I would suggest movies to each other. So like I would bring a movie that uh, I would want Bert to watch and he would bring one for me. And then we would have to watch it by uh, the next episode, the next podcast episode. And it worked mm-hmm. out great because it was one of those things that's like – I have a lot of shows and movies I want Bert to watch and vice versa. So it worked out mm-hmm. It ended up turning into a huge cunt fest. And we started <laughs> suggesting things that we knew the other person would fucking hate. And, um, and then it, Bert, it was pulled one of the biggest dick moves of all time saying he <laughs> likes this because then he doesn't have to try for the show or prepare for anything. So, um, we, we got rid of that pretty quickly. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, it started to drag on a lot. Yeah, so. yeah, I could, I could see how that could, that will happen. Uh, like yeah. I, I was suggesting like Winnie the Pooh to to Bert, and he was suggesting <laughs> yeah. like some stupid car- adult cartoon. <laughs> yeah, some stupid Japanese anime thing that he knew. Of. He's like, "Yo, it was so good though." So, uh-huh. um, it, it we 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 limited. It's not funny it to how that guess. works, though, dude. It's not funny how that works. The worst movie, like for example, this movie Time. To me, that's the worst <laughs> movie I've ever seen. But out of the 7 billion people in this freaking world, or however many people have freaking Netflix out of those people, someone out there loved that movie where they actually went and recommended it to their friends. And mm-hmm. think about sure. thinking about that kind of stuff like blows my mind. I was like, how in the world somebody would watch this and think it's good? I just, mm-hmm. I don't think, I honestly don't think anybody who watched, this, who watched this movie thought it was a good movie and would ever rewatch this movie again. <laughs> they shouldn't be allowed to vote. Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly, dude. <laughs> yeah. There's people out there who freaking love this movie, and it blows my mind. It's same thing. I feel like goes with music. You know, like when your favorite rapper like releases a song, uh-huh. and there's only like one good song in the whole album, and you're like, bro, everything is else is trash. Like you know, this song is garbage. But somewhere out there in the world, some freaking dude added it to his playlist and bumping that thing in his freaking car every single day. <laughs> And oh, it yeah. almost blows my mind. I was like, how do people listen to this stuff, dude? I, I mm-hmm. just don't get it. I don't oh, yeah. get it, man. No, it's facts. There's yeah. so much weird shit out there. I, exactly. I always like it when people are like, this is objectively bad. Like, I don't understand <laughs> how people can do this. It literally sounds like they're dragging a baseball bat on the road right now and people are yes. fucking bopping to this. Oh, it, yeah. it, it does blow my mind, man. I, I, I get irritated when I turn on some freaking like a uh, random playlist on Spotify and I genuinely try to find new music mm-hmm. and I'm skipping, 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 yeah. skipping every single song as I'm driving. I'm like, okay, I have a 30 minute drive. Hopefully I can listen to some music. And uh, I, I just spent 30 minutes skipping songs while driving <laughs> wherever it. I need to go. And I never end up listening to anything. And I'm like, where's the freaking good music at? What is all this freaking garbage, mm-hmm. dude? Like, come on. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same thing happened when Bert made me playlists and stuff like that. So <laughs> they're just waiting oh, yeah. for something to go. And then it was just the song that I had told. The silence. <laughs> the silence was the only good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm like that with country song. music. I literally get to the point to where I'm like, I would rather not listen to anything. Holy than listen to crap, these dude. Thank. I, I'm not even kidding, dude. Country music irritates my ears, dude. <laughs> I I love music. It I'm really big into music. <laughs> I, I listen to all kinds of music like i'm pretty like I, I feel like i have really good taste in music I, my playlist is really diverse i have a lot of different playlists for different kinds of music but country well, you would never in a million years would see me or have a uh, have a playlist with country music or even one country song dude i just don't get how people like that kind of stuff i don't i it blows it's my mind weird. dude i don't get it yeah the the thing that really kills it for me is the fans of it and yes. <laughs> the amount of sex that they have with their cousins is just fucking impeccable. It's insane. When you told me that incest story about your cousin Bert's, I mean, okay. I guarantee that's what was on the car radio. Um, in the studio, dude. In the studio where they're recording that song, probably, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is just like... I, I get the appeal to it because it has a... I don't get the appeal to country, but I'm talking about to the specific genre because it fits a specific group of people. So oh, yeah. I understand why people like it. But then when you look at it from like a musical standpoint, it's just the, the most basic copy and paste shit ever and it is dude it it's is. so annoying it's just like there there's genres of music where it's just it's not it's not my thing like i'm not a big i don't really listen to rap music that much at all but i get why people like it because that's what the the area that they grew up in it's real big and popular there that's just what they grew up with that's what they're used to yeah, same thing yeah. with like country music right i mean country and rap are basically the same thing but on very different sides of the spectrum and very yep. different parts of the country so <laughs> um yeah, that's a good word to put it yeah 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 so i that but i just fucking can't stand it oh my goodness it just gets Ooh, so it's like annoying. pissing me off right now dude <laughs> pissing me off right now just talking about it i know like my muscles my are curled. tensing up dude. yeah seriously <laughs> It's so fucking cringe. I don't want to hear no country. Like, about the rap thing, I see what you're talking about. Because a couple of years ago, I, I was always like one of those guys who like, oh, old school rap only is the best one. This yeah. new stuff is garbage. But then I realized there's only so much of old school rap that I've like, there's no more old school rap. So mm -hmm. I kind of slowly started uh, like giving a chance to like the newer music, the new styles. And mm -hmm. a lot of, a lot of producers, honestly, producers carry everything nowadays. This generation of yeah. rapping producers and the engineers, they carry the whole freaking music industry. Cause they're getting so creative with the instrumentals, with the beats and everything. Dude, I just, the lyrics can be trash if it slaps in my car i'm turning it on and i'm just playing it <laughs> oh yeah because the freaking producer did a good job and i'm like yep. that's that's why i listen to most of my music i have a lot of rap in my playlist mm -hmm. but it's mainly for instrumentals there's nothing i'm like freaking like following the lyrics only lyrics i know is like old school rap songs like freaking mm -hmm. ice cube like freaking yep. it was a good day or any other freaking song like those kind of songs you know what i mean like mm -hmm. oh yeah modern song modern rap i don't freaking even know the lyrics to those things right i don't yeah. know if anybody does yeah, yeah, exactly but... no i just so... got recently i've been like trying to play around with the audio engineering stuff and like trying oh. to like just mess around with beats and everything and it is so much harder than like you, you would bet, think dude. it was like like it's insane I bet. That's why those guys, I feel like they need to, they deserve more freaking props in my opinion. Oh, like yeah. those engineers, like, like those guys freaking to have a, such a good ear where it just like, it just appeals to so many people. You know what I mean? Like you hear a song, like for example, you guys know Still Dre, right? Like by Dr. Dre, the oh, song yeah. Still Dre. Yeah. Dude, I don't, I don't care who you are. If you hear the instrumental, you just, you can just appreciate how nice the instrumental sounds, dude. That's a beautiful freaking instrumental. And there's like those kind of songs that you just hear the instrumental to a song and you're like, wow, dude, this is like freaking beautiful. This is art. And mm -hmm. you can just listen to over and over. Also like Stand by Eminem. One of my mm -hmm. favorite instrumentals. Yeah. That instrumental I can listen to freaking for the rest mm -hmm. of my life. It's just so well put together. And then you just see the producers who are behind it. Like freaking the Still Dre is like, what's his name? Um, 
Mike Scorch, uh, not Mike Scorch, I, I forgot what his name is, but whoever the producer is, those guys, and then you look at the history of the songs that they've been making, and then you're like, oh, okay, now it makes sense how he make up with this, because they have all these freaking huge-ass freaking hits that they've made in, like, last 10 years, and you're like, okay, this guy definitely a talented person, no wonder he can produce these kind of beats, you know what I mean? It's like, it's oh, a yeah. freaking talent, dude, you gotta mm-hmm. have an actual talent for that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, and I'm I'm also liking the kind of stuff that they're doing, like because you brought up "Stand by Eminem," and mm. that that song starts off with a different song, and yes. then Eminem comes in and starts rapping over it, <clears throat> yeah, over like a calm ass beat too. Yeah, yeah, and the 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 original song is "Not So Bad" by Ditto or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Some girl sings it. And Not so bad. Yeah, exactly th- that one. And uh, the the chick is like, I fucking love just that song. And then you kind of mix it in with Eminem, and then people start remixing it and covering it. And that's another big thing with TikTok. I mean, as cringe as some of the remixes and covers can be, God mm-hmm. damn, I have found some <laughs> fucking bops on TikTok. Oh, dude, a hundred percent, bro, one hundred freaking percent. I agree with you on that. I mm-hmm. I love TikTok for that, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like it's it's crazy to to think about. That's kind of how TikTok started too. It was all just like the yeah. music and the dancing and stuff, and then yep. it turned into what it is now. Mm-hmm. But I yeah. love music on there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, me too. I've 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 added like ten, twenty songs uh, to my Spotify just yeah, off of same. that. Where same. they're actually just good fucking bops to 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 jam to and things like that. And a lot of times, it's not as cringy as I thought it would be. Where if you're listening to it. People are like, oh, you're you're fucking gay. You got a TikTok song on that's there. That's the TikTok song, haha. Yeah, <laughs> loser. Yeah, it, that's what I thought. Like, well, because that's what I say. But then uh, people start fucking singing to it and everything, and they know the whole thing to it. And I'm like, wow, you guys are the losers now. Uh, Daddy's yeah, just here yeah. for the bops, and yeah, the funniest. Damn. The funniest thing that happened to me once, I was, uh, that was back when freaking the Sonic, remember the, when the Sonic movie came out, oh, uh, yeah. the trailer came out, I remember mm-hmm. this one day I was driving in a car and my, not, my, I think my little brother, he was eight years old at that time and we we're driving and in my playlist, the Gangster's Paradise came on sure. and they used Gangster's Paradise in the Sonic uh, yep. trailer. Mm-hmm. And my, oh my little gosh. brother was like, oh, that's the song from the Sonic movie. I was like, bro, this is not a song. Okay. Yeah, I was like, get out of here, dude. Don't even say that. That's not <laughs> a Sonic freaking. That's not a Sonic song. Well, that's Gangster's Paradise, bro. That's mm. freaking. Also, Gangster's Paradise, another freaking beautiful song, dude. Mm-hmm. Such I love that song so much. Mm-hmm. I know the whole freaking lyrics, dude. And <laughs> that mm-hmm. song is like one of my favorite instrumentals song, period. And that guy does not even swear or say anything like no cuss words nothing in the whole song mm-hmm. and it's just like such a hard song dude it's pretty mm-hmm. freaking crazy yeah. i love that song yeah yeah that that's always the the it's one of those things where it's like a, a song's getting the recognition it deserves You're like hell yeah that that this song yeah. pops, it deserves it and everything like that uh it's another thing when you're like yo that's the big hero six song <laughs> and you're like yeah. careful gorgeous yeah, yeah, chill, yeah. dude. You watch your mouth there, yeah. That no. song's been out way longer than freaking your big hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Been around longer than you, you fucking weirdo. Exactly. Uh, uh, no, but it, it definitely, definitely get that. But it, And then uh, one thing that I've really gotten into lately with, with music, and I've talked to Bert about this, is finding a good cover of a song to mm-hmm. where someone can hear a song and they're like, yo, this is this is a great song, but let's change it up a little bit. It could sound really good if we did this to it. So, of course, they mm-hmm. give all the credit to the original song, but then they put their own twist on it. And I think some some covers can really fucking slap sometime, dude. Yes, they do. I've been, I've been a big fan of a lot of like people bringing up like old uh, old songs. Like I, I don't know how these guys do it, but they'll find some freaking old song from like that was on a vinyl only like freaking yeah. 50 years ago. And they sample it and it just like freaking sounds beautiful. It's mm-hmm. like the song that by 21 Savage, it's like some freaking samples were like uh, this lady singing. Uh, what's that thing called, dude? I forgot what it was, but it's, it's basically an old song from like some uh, lady singing like 
my friends think I don't know, but it was like basically this old ass sample, and I was like, and I was like a Twenty One Savage freaking sampling some old song from like okay. back in the day, and it sounds like so hard on the freaking beat too. I was like, that's so badass, dude. And I'm like, oh, yeah. it's pretty sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't don't even get daddy going about bringing old songs back from the vinyl ages to to today, Matt. You you don't. You don't want to go down that road, gorgeous, because we could no, be yeah, here. I, I don't know that much about that kind of stuff anyway. Honestly. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> oh we, we could we could be here for a very very long time uh, yeah. going forward. <laughs> as, as, He's a as, as, big well, Elvis talking boy. about music, yeah. talking about music and movies. I can talk about this kind of stuff the whole freaking day, dude. I love talking <laughs> about movies and music. Dude. Music this is like everything. I love this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. So, um, lots of good shit though out there on uh, the internet. So, um, especially TikTok, just finding bops. It's like fuck this video. TikTok makes it so easy where you can click on like the bottom right corner and see where the oh, song yeah, is yeah. and who sings yep. it and everything. Mm-hmm. It's um, sucks that Spotify doesn't have all of them because a lot of them is like remixes from YouTube or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then you got to go about it illegally and shit like that. And then you feel like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I used to be a really, well, I still am a big fan of a band that's was in Germany. And uh, this was back in 2011, maybe, 2012, where Spotify really wasn't a thing yet and, and mm-hmm. things like that. So it was damn near impossible to find their music. Uh, uh, like their CDs and everything like that. This is when CDs were huge. So what I did is I'd go on like YouTube and there'd be like German YouTube accounts that would upload their MP3s. And oh, uh, Daddy went about uh, getting those songs YouTube, to his iPod. You go on freaking Google search and YouTube to MP3. Bam, 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 bam. bam. And there you go, Perfect. dude. Daddy's jamming. Yes. Yeah, seriously. Yes. I didn't want to do it that way, but Lord have mercy. Get some music over here in the States and I will yep, gladly. That, that's how you get it on your freaking MP3 player, bro. That's how I used to do it, man. Yeah. That's how I used to get my Back freaking songs. Day. Yeah, I never yeah. paid for music. Literally, we just downloaded all to my iPod and... Now I just pay ten bucks a month for Spotify and it's right oh, there yeah. and it does so much more. Exactly, for dude. Spotify is amazing. Yeah, as I as I got older, I'm like, I'm not stealing anymore, bro. I'm a grown ass man. I work. <laughs> I might as well get this fairly, dude. I'm mm-hmm. not getting nothing. I'm I not guess. Getting nothing. Mm-hmm. Unless unless it's like Sony Vegas or something. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <I'm> just absolutely. <laughs> gotta you gotta be Sony. smart with it for sure. Yeah. So, I ain't uh, paying no freaking four hundred dollars for that thing. Fuck, man. Yeah, yeah. Boot, Bert, Bert's got like a fucking bootleg version of Photoshop or something, don't you? Or... Something like that. Something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, That's he has stuff. a bunch of he has a bunch of stuff like that so he can hide up all his furry porn. He's like, yo, look at this illegal Photoshop I have. Go oh, yeah. look at the fucking fox with big boobies behind it. But uh, <laughs> Anyways, man, it's been a hell of a lot of fun having you on, man. We're definitely going to check out your movie. We'll watch it, uh, and we'll talk about it in the next episode. Um, and uh, thank you so much for coming on, man. Before before we let you go, do you want to kind of shout out your shit or let people know where they can find you? Uh, I mean, if anybody wants to follow me or anything, I guess follow me on Twitter. I'm not really active on there, but once I get back into streaming and posting YouTube videos, I, I guess I'm going to post it on there. Uh other than that, I funny honestly, I don't really care about it that much anymore. If you guys want to <laughs> see some facts, I guess you could subscribe to me on iFunny. Got a library but, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's I have so many posts. You have thousands of posts that people can just scroll for years, dude, and you'll have facts <laughs> for days, dude. But sure. other than that, I have nothing else to promote, man. I really appreciate you guys even inviting me. This is really fun experience, dude. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of bringing me like that, like a vibe of just chilling on the live stream and just talking to my friends in like a party chat or something like that. You know, Hell it's yeah. pretty chill, dude. I really yeah. appreciate it. Hell yeah, yeah. it's, it's always fun. fun. Yeah, a lot of fun, and thanks for coming on, man. And and keep in touch for sure, man. Uh, definitely. Of course, happy dude. To... I'm gonna have to, now. I'm gonna have to, dude. Now we're freaking <laughs> connected, dude. It's it's that's it, dude. Heck yeah, man. We we had this conversation. You guys know too much about me now, so I have to keep <laughs> I have to keep track of you guys now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he has a thing for us now. It's like when I have a dream about a person, I instantly have a crush on him. So, exactly. uh, definitely, exactly definitely. the same. 
Yeah, literally <laughs> the exact same thing. But yeah, no, we'll, we'll we'll keep in touch, and we'll also drop your links in like the YouTube video uh, in the description for people to to check you out. So, mm-hmm. um, right, dude. Yeah, thanks again for coming on. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the BNB Podcast, episode 89. We are doing awesome. We got Big 90 next week, so we will see you all there. Guys, we're just trying to bring a little bit of the family element to the podcast world. Just remember, it's comedy. Calm the fuck down. Bert, where can they find the Twitch? Please don't say it. Don't, don't, don't start off with it. Oh, I forgot what it was, but I'm just oh, going to no. say what I need to. That's what to. you should say. Oh, oh no so no oh that's what i say we are up on twitch saturday nights in the est at uh, uh burton burger yeah i nice. got yelled at for doing the whole link last time i spelled out yeah. everything but, yeah uh, literally just cut him off through him in a different discord channel so <laughs> mm-hmm. fuck yeah. that shit yeah. find us mm-hmm. on twitch b-u-r-t and b-u-r-g-r you can find us everywhere else and uh, you'll see all of Matt's stuff in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of the BNB Podcast, the Burger Show. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Take care, fam. Peace. Bye, Dios.